Hey all, so you've been to the thrift shop, you picked up some vinyl, and you want to give it a bit of a clean, you want to see what kind of a state that it's in, right? So what else do you do on a cold wet Saturday when you listen to some good tunes with CraigTube? Okay, so this is what I do. You can do this for under 20 bucks. It's only going to be a few things you need. You need some distilled water. Uh, the water here, it leaves watermarks, so that's what I want to use. Uh, also, grab one of these. You get these from a, from a paint shop. These are just like for finishing down your edges and stuff like that, uh, around door frames, that kind of thing. Okay, so let's grab one of those. That come, this one here was about eight bucks. Came with a, a spare one, so I used that as well. And... I just kind of got like a chamois, maybe a, a microfiber cloth or something like that, or this this came just with cleaning the screen on the mat, you know, so, I don't know, use something like that. But you just use that to the end to dry it out, so, all I do, just, just wet this. I just hold it like this, it just it seems to be easy enough. And just follow the grooves around, just pushing it around. So I don't think this is really going to get off anything that's really ingrained. But I've had some really good um, really good results with stuff that I knew was quite just that kind of top end crackle. You know there's a lot of dust on there, even the even the old record brush, the carbon fiber brush wasn't cleaning it off. So I just do that. On both sides. It's amazing what you find and what you see. It's like cleaning your car. You start seeing all the scratches and the imperfections and whatnot that you don't really see on a day to day, um, just just day to day use. So as you get to know your vinyl a little bit better, one of the um, one of the albums that I've got inscribed on the inside there. I don't know if you can quite see it on the video too well, but I'll put a splash of it up. It's Face Value, uh, the album Phil Collins. And on the inside there, it says Play Loud. So the guy, the mastering engineer, has inscribed it in there as well. So, pretty crazy. And I've got another one as well. It says, oh, I'll have to find it. I can't remember exactly what it says, but there's a couple on there that I've found. So this little brush basically just, you can feel it tracking the groove. So I just go all the way around, both sides. Especially out to that first, that lead in edge where you're gonna hear it, probably the, um, the loudest. As soon as you put the needle down. So there you go. And this next little step here, I just, I just drop it on my knees a little bit, yeah, it just lets that excess water just drop off. Now you've got to be careful, you can't do this, uh, don't do it too hard, because what most people don't realise is that the bass tunes on here, the bass notes, if you drop it too hard, they'll fall off because they're heavier, right? right? So I just do that a few times. And here's the second one, okay? So the second one here, I just run everything around to a point, okay, because so obviously water is going to just drip in a line, so I just do that. You're just trying to get most of it off, yeah? See the same on the other side? Probably need to dry that out a bit. Obviously you're only going to need to do this once, as long as you look after your vinyl really well and it doesn't get mouldy or anything like that. So once you get that piece of vinyl then you can look after it the way that you want. This is an old, now that's what I call music, I think it's the original volume, I don't know, it's the Virgin Retail New Zealand, so there you go. So they're up to like 53 or 60 or something now, I don't know. Okay. So now you've got a little little line, a little patch down the bottom there. It's just a little bit damp. Drop that in there. 
and then grab the shimmy and I just just draw it off. I don't know if it matters whether you go with the groove or with backwards. So that's just going to take off the excess. And this is where you can really start seeing the finger marks disappearing, the ones that were on there earlier, which is cool. So just do both sides. I've got about 60, 60 LPs to go through, and I'm about halfway there. So this has got to be able to help somebody out, right? Be interesting to hear what you guys do. I haven't really got it to the point where I'm going to grab one of those washing machines and vinyl washing machines, I should say. So just do that. And once you've got the bulk of it off, before I'll put it away, especially if it's got a um, a paper or a, or just a cardboard sleeve on its own, I'll just give it a, just give it a bit of a dry. Yeah. Just air dry it. Maybe you can see that there, but that's the the new turntable. No, we're not worshiping the turntable. Although the engineering that goes into that thing is pretty amazing. So there you go. How long did that take? Not long at all, right? Distilled water, a bit of a chamois type thing, and one of those little painting brushes. It's all you need. And the difference in what I've heard. And the stuff that the carbon fibre brush didn't pick up, so this actually gets into the grooves a little bit better. There's still going to be some bigger things in there, and imperfections obviously of secondhand vinyl. But I was really surprised when I picked up one of the dirtiest albums that I had and I knew it was really dirty and played it on an old turntable, and then did this process, heaps better. And I was actually quite surprised. So I'm doing this with all of the ones that I've got, so you just look at it now and you can just, just the light just comes off what it looks, looks mint. See that? Perfect, eh? Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope it's helped. Enjoy your vinyl.